Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, for this set, we're just gonna do a plain little almond set. And I actually am doing a review. So I received this lamp. It's called Spare. And it's a really neat lamp, guys. So, it comes with the remote, as you can see on the side. And the bottom comes off, so you can put, you know, your you could do toenails with it, take the bottom off, and it makes it very convenient. Um, and if you could see the remote, I'll show you more, but I'm just showing you the lamp right now. The, la the bulbs are red. The bulbs, they're not like blue, that, you know, blue tint. It's like a purple red tint. It's infrared, I guess. So I'm going to put all the stuff in the description box about this lamp. And I'm just showing you, you can put it on auto or manual. And if it's on manual, you could go in the lamp. It'll go on when you go inside with your hand. But if it's on auto, then it works the opposite way. So it would only go on when you go inside and turn on the number, like 60. Then it would go on with your hand in it. So see, it's really a neat lamp. I mean, it, the, the remote's pretty cool. And then I also am going to show you the side of the remote. You could put it on 18 watt. Um, 48 watt well I'll show you when we get there I'm going ahead of myself but anyways it's really neat lamp and it cures wonderfully so I've never seen one with this tint these bulbs before but it's pretty cool so I'm just showing you right now how you work the buttons you would put it on the AT or MT which is auto or manual and then you would go to 30 seconds 60 90 you know whatever you want and Put your hand in the lamp so this is a really neat lamp guys and really really works i love it so here's this here's what the the remote looks on the back and then i'm going to show you on the side right here you could put it on 18 36 or 48 watts so you can make the wattage higher so that's neat too i've never seen one of these lamps but this is really really nice lamp guys so i'm showing you what it looks like on the inside and I'll show you all around what it looks like. And I'm gonna write everything about this lamp in the description box, so go there if you wanna find out about it um, and the price and everything. And let's get onto the set now. I'll meet you when we get there. So I've already prepped the nails. I pushed back the cuticles, removed the shine, shaped up the free edge, cleaned under the nail, and cleaned it with alcohol. And now I'm using my protein bond, two coats of protein bond on each nail. So I'm gonna use a mix that I made. It's just a glitter mix. And that's what I'm gonna use on the whole set. This is the brush I'm gonna use for this set. And it's from E Nail Couture. So I'm just using a clear bead, a very thin clear bead, just to put on my nails so the glitter mix isn't, you know, stuck when I, if I try to remove the, when, when I go to soak off, the glitter's not really stuck on there. And I push it out a little bit. I pull some of the acrylic out a little bit just to give me a little bit more strength when we put on this glitter mix. All right guys, so here's the glitter mix I'm using and I put like seven, eight different glitter mixes. <laughs> so I wanted like a spring color, a pink you know, type glitter. So that's what I did and I'm just putting it on, starting by the cuticle, brushing it down like you watched how I usually do them. Then I grab another bead and I just grab this and I, this bead and I brush it up a little bit and then start forming it down into the almond shape that I'm that I want so the, whatever shape we're looking for we want to do that 
right now on the form. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just shaping it up, shaping the sides up, making sure none of it's dripped off to the side. You wanna have your shape perfectly on this form the, the way you want the nails to look. That way it's gonna eliminate a lot of filing for us. All right, after I did the glitter mix, shaped it up the way I wanted, then I just went into my clear acrylic and capped it. So grabbing a big bead by the cuticle area, brushing it down, then I'll grab another by the middle, brush it, you know, I didn't show that I guess, it wasn't filming or I don't know what happened, but then I grabbed another bead for the middle and then one at the bottom, brushing that up and making sure it all blends together. Then I will go in and pinch the nails. All right, same process here guys. Two coats of Protein Bond on the nail. Then I'm gonna go into the clear acrylic and make a thin layer of the clear acrylic on. I didn't, on this nail, I didn't pull it out all the way. I just put a little bit of clear acrylic. I wasn't even thinking, I'm just trying to film this for you guys really quick. So I didn't pull any of it of the clear acrylic out like I did on the other nail. I just put a really thin layer on the natural nail so the glitter doesn't get stuck. So same process, I'm just grabbing my glitter mix from the cuticle to the free edge, shaping it up as I go along. guys next I'm gonna cap the nail with clear acrylic and on this nail I just started from the bottom just like you see I'm doing here so you can do it all different ways you don't have to start by the cuticle if it's easier for you to start at the bottom you can start at the bottom then I grab another bead in the at the middle like you watched me do here then I'll grab another one at the cuticle area brushing that down Alright guys, so our last two nails, I'm just doing the same process, same glitter mix. I just put a thin bead of clear acrylic on the natural nail and then I grab my glitter mix by the cuticle area, brushing it down, shaping it up, always shaping up, patting, shaping, patting, shaping, making sure the acrylic, the acrylic is you know, flat into shape and not falling off to the side of your form and making sure we have a perfect almond shape on this form so we have less filing. Then I'll cap the nails with clear acrylic. After we file and buff, remember to clean all nails with alcohol or a gel cleanser, whatever you have, or you can go into the water and wash your hands and scrub them with a manicure brush if that's what you choose. But here, I'm cleaning them with a the wipe and alcohol, and then we're going to go into our top shine. And the top shine I'm using is Accents. Um, the no wipe top shine. I really love this guys. The shine lasts forever. So I'm just putting this on all the nails and then we're going to go into our new lamp.
After all nails are done, you want to add your cuticle oil to replenish your cuticles after all that alcohol. All that stuff we were doing on our nails and it dried them out so we want to put back the moisture inside of our cuticles. So here's our final result you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Thank you.